Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I am here to share with you some cards that I've created using dies from my stash. Some of these, a lot of these dies are new to me just recently. Um, I'm not going to show you the dies. Um, if, um, you know, I, I'm sure most of you have probably seen them. And um, so, first off, I'm going to start with this one. This is, um, I tried to do some kind of a scene, and I think I may have been able to create it. I'm not quite sure. It looks okay to me. Um, so I used a square stitched for the background. Um, I cut two of these um, little fences out, put one behind the um, uh, barn or what, yeah, it looks, I think it's a barn. Um... And then I paper pieced the barn slightly. I put some yellow back there, some red, um, and then a piece of white for the door. Um, I wish I hadn't have done that, but I did, so I left. I had to leave it. I used a white gel pen and made some window marks, um, but it looks okay. Um, the sun and the clouds and the butterfly and the flowers were all just things I had in my stash that I'm using up. The ladybugs also were already made up, but I believe I have a die for those. Um, and uh, the grass is um, also a die, and they are from Dyes R Us, I think it is, or Dyes... I can't remember now. <laughs> um, uh, or it could have been used in my um, my Cricut, too, because uh, I use that for a lot of different things as well. So this is the first one, and the inside is blank. So the inside is going to be blank on all of these cards, so I'm not going to even open them up. Because I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to use them for. I'm just enjoying making them. Here is my second one. I love this little card. Um, so this little girl is all paper pieced. This chair is also paper pieced and I just thought it turned out so stinking cute. I love the the how you can you're able to paper piece this chair which is this chair is a new die to me and when it came I was just so excited because I uh, once I cut it out and saw the potential um, I was very excited about it, and so I think it turned out really cute. And I'm going to give you a um, heads up on the paper behind there in a little bit after I finish doing these, if I have time. Here is the second card. This one, um, this is a teacup that I have a die to. It actually has um, flowers that you're supposed to put into it. Um, but I just did this. This little teapot and this sentiment here were both gifted to me um, some time ago from my niece Marla H. And um, I think that the yellow looks really cute on her with the white and the yellow polka dot. Isn't that cute? Here's another um, little girl that um, I enjoyed uh, putting together. And um, I'm probably going to use this as a birthday card. I put the music because it's supposedly she's dancing. And so um, I thought they kind of went together. I wasn't quite sure what else to use. But I think it turned out really nice. I'm really pleased with it. And this little girl, she has got her little purse. And she's off shopping, I guess. And um, again, this was another one where I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go overboard so I just took this beautiful flower die and cut it out and put it there. These next two are um, paper pieced. This is one entire die and then I just cut out cut it out in various colors and um, then I just paper pieced um, the different pieces. And it actually was cut out in this, the papers from this paper stack. And I don't remember what it was, but um, it's an older stack that was in my, uh, I had pieces of in my stash. And then here's another one that, um, and 
again, I'm trying to use my stash up, so I did not cut out new product for these. These are things I already had. Um, if I had, I would have, you know, made them different. But I, I'm really trying hard to use up what I have already cut up and what I've already got uh, in my stash. Here's two people you will know. Here is Papa Smurf. And um, what's her name? Oh my gosh, I just forgot her name. Anyway, aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, how fun are were they to, to paper piece? So fun. Love them. And they're not little. They're a nice, good size. Fit that whole entire card. Isn't that cute? This is another new die that um, is new to me. And um, I love it. I think it's just, it's just stinking cute. So um, I have a whole lot of alphabet. Uh, letters. Um, they came from um, Webster's Pages and just all kinds of different um, companies and I've just never used them. I almost threw them away last year and I'm glad I didn't. So I just took a couple of them and put them there. And I took some um, uh, yeah this stuff here and um, ran it through to make it look like it would, uh, for a tie, it would tie. Here's one that I'm really in love with. I'm in love with all of them, but <laughs> here is Grandma and Grandpa. Are they stinking cute? I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. And this bookcase is a new die to myself as well, and I, um, cut it out in three different colors of paper and um, that I just paper pieced a few of the books put a little flower up there in the flower pot that's back there aren't they so cute oh my god they're so cute here's another cute one that um, is fairly new to me as well well this girl is fairly new to me um, she, I, she was on a different project up there before and this is how she actually comes with the book so, super cute. Now you get to see the chair. So, this is what the chair looks like. Love it. I think this is a really cute card. Um, this kitty comes with um, one of my girls. Um, she's in a swing. So, what happened was, is that first card that I showed you, this one here, I had cut it out in this, I don't even know what, where that paper came from it was just some random paper in my stash and I found it pretty then I cut it again in pink and I just switched the the two around and um, then this here I just cut out um, a small oval to uh, place as a rug here's another girl that I love I think she's so adorable and um, I put a little lipstick on, some fingernail polish on her toes and her fingernails. She's got a little butterfly there. Super cute, super cute. This next one's another adorable one. Here's the Tooth Fairy. And I paper pieced her as well. And um, this is, these are all well, there's more to it, but this is these are all a separate die. She's one die, and then there's a, several dies on this in this group here, and um, so I thought that turned out so cute. <laughs> oh, and this I have to say is my absolute favorite girl of all time. I absolutely adore her. And that's this one here. She is so. I think she's just sweet, sweet looking. And I love the colors. These, these colors on, um, on on her just to me just really, really made the made the difference in the the um, uh, putting of, of it together. Um, this is a, a cat die. It comes with a dog, and um, it comes with all these different pieces. And so I paper pieced this as well, and put that there. This is another one of my favorite girls. I'd, I'd have all of them are my favorites. 
Um, I love her because of her hair, and I love her with red hair. I think that is the cutest. I think she's just adorable with red hair for some reason. Uh, maybe because it's the shortness of it. I don't know. Here's the little dog that goes with the little cat. And I just stuck that one there. Another beautiful girl, all dressed up. And um, she, of course, is paper pieced. This chair and this lamp, I do not have those dies. These are were gifted to me by my niece, Marla H. Someday I may find those um, those uh, dies. There's also a little table that goes uh, with it, too. But I thought that kind of went okay. And here's my boy. I think he's adorable as well. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? And he's got to put a little bicycle there for him. And this girl, she's all dressed up. And um, I really wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, but I had this piece cut out. It's actually an entire uh, rectangle, um, and I had cut off all the rectangle part and just left the tree. And so um, I decided to put that there to kind of give some something else to the to the card. Now these two I have not been made into cards yet. They have, oh, I've only done the uh, front uh, of them. Um, this gazebo is a new die to me. And the background, this background die is a tattered lace um, scallop circle, uh, stitched scallop circle die. But they are so cute. And I just thought they looked so cute in here. And then the paper I used, oh... It's a Recollections. I don't remember the name of it, though. And then one more. This is the other one I did, and this is also from the same paper pad. And, um, so, that's them. So, the papers, uh, I wanted to just real quickly say, so... There are times when I just, nothing's coming to me, and when I can't craft, um, then I cut. And so, um, before I used to do a lot of um, die cutting and just, um, you know, I couldn't find places to put it. So, I finally did this. Let me turn this around real slowly here, hopefully. I can get this turned around. So I have this, let me span up. I have this um, cart here from Ikea. I have actually two of them. And this whole thing is paper that has is all ready to use. So what I do is I had a stack of, of um, 12 by 12 cardstock that was just loose and I didn't know what I was going to do with them. We're talking huge, huge, huge stack. So I cut it all down the middle into 6 by 12 and ran them through. And so I have all kinds of different papers that are already ready to use and they're on a square, on a rectangle stitched. I have a square stitched. I have um, some other ones. I also did some plain cardstock, and um, it's just nice to have because then I have it right there and it's easy to use. So, anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.